Sunday back in the Proteus camp. I see the coaches have been putting everyone through their paces. How have the first couple of days gone? Yeah, it's been hard graft, uh, lots of running, lots of prep, lots of skill work, very good competitive and um, yeah, good hard days of training. So really enjoying it. You guys have had quite a long season at the back end of the season, lots of cricket being played. How are you feeling energy wise and just getting back into this Proteus camp? Uh, you know, just taking uh, one day at a time, you know, I think the best time is when you play a lot of cricket uh, towards the back end, you always find a good hobby to switch off, you know what I mean? So you can, your, um, so your mind can stay fresh. So, you, so when it's time to play cricket again, you're really, you know, ready for the 100%. Mm -hmm. and coming back from the Proteus camp, I really feel, really feel good, um, feel happy that I'm back in the team. So, yeah. Pakistan, obviously a massive tour. Um, are you excited to be in the running for selection? Uh, yes, I am. A couple of obstacles I have to uh, overcome, but really excited. Uh, can't wait for the challenges and um, yeah, can't wait. And how does one overcome mental, the mental side of cricket? Because it's very mentally taxing. Um, how do you overcome challenges and just all the things that come with this game? Um, I think, as I said before, one of the most important things is to always find time to switch off. Uh, when it's cricket, it's cricket 100%, you're fully invested in it and then when you're not playing anymore or when it's your off days, it's really important for you to find some good quality time to chill and uh, really switch off so you can always find that re-energizing energy to uh, keep on and coming back to being brutally um, torn down and you know, just got, just got to keep on coming back up. So yeah, as you said, it's mentally taxing but you still got to go for it. Tell us a little bit about who you hang out with in the camp. Who are the people that that keep you <laughs> that keep you entertained? Keep me entertained. I am the entertainer. <laughs> um, no, I chill. I chill with um, uh, Luto, aka Fresh Legs, um, Anna, Buren, uh, Timber. Um, I chill with anyone really. If uh, there's opportunity to speak, speak nonsense. I'm um, there, you know. Um, yeah. There's, I don't. Yeah, I don't have any favorites. There's, um, as you say, you you're quite very, you're quite loud and you're very energetic on the field, particularly. Um, do you do you enjoy that that role in the team, being the guy who gets the mood up and who gets guys cheered up? Um, I wouldn't say really too loud in terms of. Um, words i like to think of it as i'm leading through action so maybe crack a couple of jokes and then the guys will be all right geared up and uh, just take them like maybe if they're having a, a bad day i always feel like okay if i can cheer this person up i can do that just by speaking nonsense or taking them to the corner or whatever but just to take their mind off what they're going through and then um, yeah just trying to switch their mental in a way so yeah <laughs> i'm an uncle <laughs> <laughs> there's there's quite a lot of guys that you played with obviously in this camp does that help when you come into a, a, a an almost foreign environment at least knowing that there's a serious amount of people that you that you have a cricket history with uh, yes it definitely makes the transition very easy in terms of team chemistry um, played with the guys played a lot against the guys uh, against um, some of the guys so. It's really good to have that sort of mutual competition, mutual respect, but you, you also know that, um, yeah, that, 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 as I said before, that, that transition period, going into from, from a new team to a new environment, um, it's not as awkward or it doesn't take too long to build the team chemistry, so it's really good. There's a lot of people that have written about you being in this national team. There's a lot of people that have wanted to see you in national colors. Do you feel under pressure um, now that you're here that, you need to perform extra well, extra hard now that you're here? Um, no, um, I know exactly who I am. I know exactly where I come from. I know what type of obstacles I've come across and managed to overcome. So I know what type of character I am. So in terms of pressure, it's actually a privilege to get pressure, to be pressure, but also it's actually good because when you feel pressure, you're very um, excited to, to, to do well. Um, but apart from it, as I said before, take it one day at a time.